Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about how you can score on taller defenders in the post. Now, this is also going to be helping you score on taller defenders who are guarding yourself, but mainly to guard or to score against bigger players who are coming out to play help defense on you. Okay, so number one is the floater. The floater is basically a layup. However, when you're driving down the middle of the key or even along the, the corners or the 45 degree angles or anything like that, you're driving down, you're gonna be going up for a layup, except you're gonna be floating it up and then you're gonna be landing right exactly where you took off. The reason why you wanna do this is because if you continue to drive forward and your momentum takes you forward and he actually ends up taking a charge, that's now not good. <laughs> you don't wanna get a charge on you because especially if you made the layup, but you're gonna be going up, you're gonna be driving, you're gonna be landing in the exact same spot that you took off from. That way you cannot get a charge called against you. And this is good for big men as well who are driving down the key. If a guard pops out to try and take a charge on you, do a floater and land in the exact same spot you took off. That way you have zero chance of getting that charge called on you. Now this next move is very similar to a reverse layup. However, you're not gonna be doing a reverse layup you're gonna be doing a normal layup, but in the reverse. So what I mean by that is if you're driving and you have a big man coming down on you in this direction or even coming playing help defense, you can use your body to defend yourself and to defend the blocked shot. So to do this, all you're gonna be doing is driving towards the basket and then once you take your last step, you're gonna be turning in the air and you're gonna be going in for the reverse or what would normally be the reverse. However, you're bodying the big guy so that now he cannot block your shot. So it's gonna look like this. That way, he has only the ability to reach over your body to block your shot, and now it's a foul on him. And it's even better if you can get that shot in. So to practice this shot, obviously you can practice it just by doing what I just did. However, if you're really good at going in for the reverse layup, then you should be able to hit that shot pretty consistently. Now this next move that I'm gonna show you is a very simple move. It's just a reverse layup. However, you're gonna be doing this because now you can use the rim to defend yourself against the block, but also use your body to defend yourself against the block as well. So this helps and works when you're coming down on the fast break and you have a taller defender coming down on the opposite side. Because if you're just going to go up for a left-handed layup, for example, he could pin you against the backboard. It's going to look make you look silly and make him look really good. However, the one way you can defend against this is when you're driving in on your 45 degree angle, and now you're going to be using your body to defend against the block. You're also using the rim because now he can't come around this way to block you. And you're going to go in for that reverse layup. So it's going to look like this. That way you can defend yourself against that block. Now this next move is if you have a taller defender guarding you. So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be driving left-handed, for example, if you're coming from the right side, you're gonna be dribbling left-handed towards the center of the key. You're gonna stop on a dime. Your last dribble is gonna be that right pivot foot. And then you're gonna pivot around and then you're gonna go in for the layup. And if only I got that in, it would have been perfect. But in fast motion, basically what's going to happen is you're gonna be dribbling in, you're gonna stop on a dime, the momentum of the defender is gonna be bringing him in that, in, direct, in that direction. You're gonna turn and go in for that layup. Now, the idea behind this is to get that tall defender away from you as much as possible. And now this fifth move is gonna be the basic reverse layup. However, you're gonna be putting a pump shot or a pump fake in on your last step. That way you can hope for him when he's coming over to play help defense is to try and pin you on this side of the backboard. Meanwhile, you're doing a reverse on that side. 
So let's say you have beat your defender, you're dribbling left-handed towards the basket. All you're gonna do on your last step, fake, and then around. So you do the reverse. So it's gonna look like this. Now I hope that these moves help you score on the taller defenders a lot better. If they do, let us know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another twice a day basketball video.